Hello, Charlie. My name is Dr. Carlo Rad. What brings you into the clinic today? I'm having a hard time passing stool, Doc. If you don't mind, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you so that I can assess the situation and get to the root of the problem. May we begin? Sure thing. When did these episodes begin? It started about a month ago after finishing up my tour in Afghanistan. Thank you, Charlie. For your service, please know I am grateful. If you don't mind, I would like to continue. You're welcome. And yes, of course. Would you mind describing your bowl habits? Starting with how often you need to go to the bathroom. I was actually quite regular, about three to four times a week. But starting around three weeks ago, right about the time I received prescription for pain pills, it started cutting down to twice a week, then once a week. And now it's been about eight days since I've gone. It's getting real uncomfortable, Doc. Thank you for that. I will get to the pain pills in a bit but wish to focus on the constipation for the moment. Would you mind telling me the consistency of the stool? And here is a table to help you with that. It looks like it's type 1 doc. Separate hard lumps. When you do ultimately go, do you feel like you have adequately emptied your bowl? That's the thing. It always feels like there is more that needs to come out. And even with straining, nothing further makes its way out. Are you bleeding from your rectum? No, I am not. What color is your stool? For example, brown, pale, red. It's brown. Tell me about your diet. I do like my steak and eggs in the morning and coffee to go with. I have, however, recently increased my consumption of fruits and veggies and started taking supplemental fiber, but that does not really seem to be helping. I have received the assessment form for constipation that the front desk had given you to fill out, and I appreciate you filling this out. Once we're done here, it will further assist me with creating a plan of action for your constipation, Charlie. I appreciate your patience and need to ask you a few more questions. Of course, Doc. Would you mind elaborating on the pain pills and why is it that you are needing to take them? Yes. My squadron was involved in exchanging gunfire in Afghanistan and I ended up with shrapnel lodged in my head and body. Many of my brothers and sisters suffered far more extensive injury. The shrapnel causes me quite a bit of discomfort and I needed something to take away the pain. The doctor at the time evaluated me and prescribed some morphine. I completely understand, and I am so sorry you and your colleagues had to face such adversity, and my front desk will make sure to provide you with our contact information so that we can guide you to an appropriate support system, so that, if and when a time arises you feel the need to share, you and your loved ones will have immediate access to help. Once again, Charlie, you and your brothers and sisters in arms have my gratitude. This is as far as I will take you. If you wish to gain a greater understanding of the steps of management of patient Charlie, please visit the link provided. Thank you and God bless.